Hey, so most kids! Hey! Can you hear me? I've got a question for you. Have you ever tried to tell someone a story? If you have, go ahead and raise your hand. Maybe it's easy for you. And you can talk for hours and hours and hours about your trip to the beach or maybe what you ate for lunch at school. Or maybe it's not so easy and you can barely say more than, hi, my name is, um, Koi, the end. Whether it's easy or not easy to tell a story, here's something we want you to know. Your story matters. Why? Well, because your story is about more than just you. It's about God, the one who created you. Your story is a part of God's story which makes it a part of the most important story ever for you and me and every person sitting next to you. This is true. God made you, God loves you, and God wants you to tell God's story. Sometimes this takes courage. And today I want to tell you about two people who courageously share God's story with others. Their names are Peter and John, and their story is found in the Bible in the book of Acts, chapter 4, verses 1 through 20. Uh, this is what it says. It says, The priest and the captain of the temple guard and the Sadducees came up to Peter and John while they were speaking to the people. They were greatly disturbed because the apostles were teaching about Jesus. They captured Peter and John and they threw them in jail. Now, listen to this. This is the best part of the story because many of the people who heard Peter and John's story believed in Jesus. Then the next day, Peter and John were brought before the rulers and elders for questioning. Then they ordered them to leave while they talked. What are we going to do with these men? They asked. To stop this from spreading any further, we must warn them to no longer speak in Jesus' name. But Peter and John replied, we cannot stop speaking about what we have seen and heard. Mind blown. Peter and John are brave. <laughs> Listen, they told Jesus' story even when it wasn't easy. Now, maybe you are wondering why. Why would anybody do this? And here's why. Because Jesus changed their lives. Have you ever heard really great news that you couldn't wait to share? Maybe you received an award at school. Or maybe you kicked the winning goal. Or maybe you found out you're going to have a baby brother or sister. Can you think of anything? Okay, really quick, shout out your really great news. When you have something exciting to tell others, you want to share it with everyone. And that's how Peter and John felt. They had to tell what God had done for them and for the whole world. And just like them, you have a story to tell about what God has done for you and wants to do for everyone. You can share God's story. The question is, who are you going to tell?